Hey, good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel. Got a beautiful day here today, 78 degrees right now, heading towards a high of 79. Can't complain about that. And one of you was asking me, I think a couple of weeks ago, and I forget your name, I'm sorry, uh, what settings do I use for my 24 volt system? So I wanted to go over that real quick and I'll cover all my settings on all my systems real quick. So this is the only 24 volt battery that I have. It's from Time USB, been using it for a few years. It works perfectly and have had no issues with it. And I use this smart solar charge controller from Victron, the MPPT7515. And I have just 200 watts of solar going through that. And then also from Victron, I use the pure sine wave inverter, the Phoenix 24375. And looking at the log for this setup, you can see that I just use the smart lithium iron phosphate setting, which takes the absorption voltage to 28.4 volts and a float of 27 volts. And we can see it's in float already. I use this largely as a backup battery in case one of my other systems gets depleted to the point where I need to switch it over to here for a couple of days. And you can see now just to hold it, uh, it's at its uh, float. It's just allowing in one watt intermittently, keeping it right at 27.6 and if we look back at the history for about the past 10 days you can see how rock steady that is um, except for the only weird thing is and i just noticed this uh yesterday you know it recorded a 2.51 volt uh minimum battery voltage for the day i i just gotta believe that's a an error uh because i can scroll back a long, long ways. I never see any kind of weird fluctuations whatsoever. You know, everything's looking pretty good. Goes up to 28.4 every day, settles down to about 26.7, just, just under the float. So uh, everything's looked good. And I mean, I can go back for a long, long time. And then back here is when I actually was deploying it as the backup. And I think I'm going to go ahead and do that again today. I want to give uh, my chins a chance to get up to a full charge. And yeah, I'm not terribly, I think that's just got to be something, a little glitch. Yeah, because it's been so consistent for months and months and months. And today it looks good too. So all I did was unplug uh, this plug right here that was plugged into uh, my hardwired system, which is the chin system. Uh, just plug the extension cord into this inverter to run my full-size refrigerator freezer and let my chins get up to a nice full charge. And now jumping back to the app for the 24 volt battery, 200 watts of solar, like I said, I've got tied into this. And you can see now it's opened it up, it's allowing uh, you know, 120, depending on how that sun's hitting it. Got some fast moving trade winds blowing clouds around. So there we go. I'll go ahead and drain this system down uh, and give this battery a chance to get a full cycle in. And I'll keep an eye on that, you know, whatever that was. I th just don't believe that was anything. I think that's just a, you know, it didn't register all the numbers is all I'm thinking because I've never seen anything like that on this. Okay, so yeah, I just unplugged that refrigerator freezer from this, which has been running at 24-7 for months. And it's at 53.7% full right now. And I also use the lithium iron phosphate preset. Now this is a 12 volt system, but I just like using on these Victron uh, components. I just go ahead and use that lithium iron phosphate preset. It works well for me. I have no issues with it. Now what I've got here is I've got two 300 amp hour lithium iron phosphate batteries in parallel for a 600 amp hour bank. I've got them tied into two different strings. 
500 watts coming in it off of each string. Here's what I call the top string, which is the top of an array, which I've showed you guys. And, you know, it's starting to open up into a pretty good charging day now. Out of 500 watts, you can see we we're catching four something. Looking good. Fast moving conditions. And if we look back at the past 10 days or so, you can see I haven't been getting up to absorption. I've been fluctuating between about the oh, 70th percentile and down as low as in the 40th percentile. Nothing to be concerned about. And it's getting better as the days go by lately. But it's been a while. You know, what is there? 14 days ago, I did get into absorption. Uh, and then, you know, it's been a long time since I've taken this all the way up to float. And I just want to go ahead and do that now, which is why I disconnected that refrigerator freezer from here. And although I'm not seeing anything that makes me think that there's a problem, just that it's been, you know, at least a month. At least. When's the last time? I can go back a month, and in a month I've still not hit float. So I'm going to go ahead and do it over the next couple of days by giving them just the break of running that full-size 20 cubic foot refrigerator freezer. But I've been watching these logs pretty close. I'm not seeing anything that jumps out at me as a problem. Just want to go ahead and get them up to a full charge. And here's the lower string, another 500 watts of Solar's Titan series on the bottom of that array. And same thing, you know, it looks identical to, you know, the top string, give or take just a little bit, because they're basically in the exact same position. All those values are looking just fine. I mean, you can see I've been getting up to 14-ish volts every single day. Uh, it's absolutely working fine. And this is what's running the top string. And... I've got another one side by side, and they are in network together, and each one 500 watts. So this is the bottom string right here, top string. Everything's looking real, real good. And once again, you can see on my battery preset, I use the preset of Smart Lithium, Lithium Iron Phosphate. Absorption, 14.2 volts. Float, 13.5. I've been running these now over four years uh, with this preset and they just continue to rock on no problems whatsoever and same thing on this uh, other 12 volt system i've got 300 amp hour from redodo using this charge controller here same thing lithium iron phosphate preset 14.2 volt absorption 13.5 float been doing that for few years on this system as well. No problems. 48 volt system, same thing. I use the Victron preset, lithium iron phosphate, uh, taking it up to 56.8 and 54 volts for float. And for the 48 volt system, I'm using the 15035 from Victron. Now looking at the log for, for the 48 volt battery and you can look at the battery voltage and you can see straight across every single day, I'm hitting 56.8 easily. Got 700 watts of solar driving this battery. And I use it every single day pretty much. But with that 700 watts, you can see every single day get up to a nice full charge. Uh, and as nice as this all looks down here, uh, this thing has the extra advantage of showing you each individual cell. But, you know, right there you can see nothing's happening there but good stuff. And you can see I'm already at 100% full earlier in the day. But I'll show you what this has that none of those other batteries have. And that's this right here. You can look at all 16 cells. So right there, even if I didn't have the, the Victron app showing me everything looks good, this takes it to a much higher level of showing you how everything is balanced plus in the app this will actually show you that at those parameters when this is balancing so yeah that's that's the kind of feature hopefully all batteries will have at some point 
So yeah, I use the lithium iron phosphate preset because I've got Victron running all my stuff. And the reason I do it is just the convenience of it. I mean, I know uh, that those are decent parameters. I know a lot of people tweak their settings just a little here or there for their own purposes. Um, I, do five, I do absolutely fine with the presets on all of my systems, no issues. So that's the real short answer why I do it. Just for me, ease of use, you know, when I hook up a new system and I'm hooking up a new lithium iron phosphate battery, whatever the voltage is, I just go right to the preset, click it on and forget about it for the most part. I mean, it's just that easy for me. Plug and play, I don't have to monitor it so darn close. You know, sometimes we do flush out a little issue and maybe a battery needs to be balanced a little differently. I am still doing that one up in the shop. Uh, as I showed you in the one, another one out here on the Lanai, you know, we ran it at some lower voltage for several days. I uh, have not seen an issue on that ever again. So that's worked out well. So, yeah, I, and I just like being able to refer to the logs and see what's going on. But mostly I have to say it's because I don't have to think about it too much. I use the lithium preset and I'm good. And I know uh, some of you might come in and say, you know, I do it this and, you know, change it to this or that for a different reason. And I think that's great need that information as well, I just leave it on the preset. Works well for me. Really, ever since I've switched over to all these components, I've never really had much issues whatsoever. But I do enjoy hearing what you guys are setting yours and why, because it expands the gray matter. <laughs> all right, well, we've hit our target in temperature here today too. It's 79 now. Feels like 80. <laughs> Trade winds lightly blowing, but as you can see, beautiful solar conditions. Everything's rocking, rocking. I appreciate the questions, and I'm always happy to accommodate and answer to the best I can. I will certainly always tell you how I'm doing things out here. All right, you guys. Hope you're all well. Catch you on the next one. Aloha, everybody. Yeah. Uh, I got to get out of these clothes, put on some shorts, and uh, kick back. <laughs>